Video games are beautiful. They're truly works of art, and that's really not said enough. I believe often, though, we forget how much we take for granted the messages that video games can bring us. Many of us have learned a lot from video games, but, you know, what about the times where video games got a bit, well, pushy? What about the times where they crossed that moral line and encouraged you to commit evil acts? What about missions like No Russian? No Russian was a mission in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 that quickly became one of the most sensitive and controversial missions in a video game in history. Everything about the mission struck nerves of outraged players and people around the world as the subject matter was something that we unfortunately see scar nations on a near weekly basis. Not only was this controversy beneficial to gaming, but it was also entirely taken too far. Today, we'll be talking about No Russian and the controversy that it sparked. If you are not familiar with the No Russian mission, or perhaps not even familiar with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, it goes something like this. The game takes place in a modern setting, one in which the Russians and the Americans go to war due to an ultra-nationalist uprising that intends to bring Russia back to the glory days of the Soviet Union. The events of the first Modern Warfare game follow the intervention in the Middle East after Zakayev, the initiator of it all, funds a military coup in the Middle East and takes the attention off of Russia for long enough to start their uprising. Coincidentally, you will be seeing Modern Warfare Remastered campaign gameplay because Modern Warfare 2 is not yet at least available on the PS4. After the events of this first Modern Warfare game, Makarov enters the picture by staging terrorist attacks throughout Europe. One of the biggest attacks takes place at an airport in Moscow where an undercover CIA agent named Joseph Allen assists Makarov and his men in slaughtering countless civilians, security guards, responding police forces, and FSB members. You may have noticed that the mission name is No Russian, and that is a nod to the opening line of the mission in which Makarov reminds the player not to speak in Russian so that the Americans could be blamed for this attack. Remember, No Russian. So, of course, naturally, you may be asking, how could the Russians blame the Americans for an attack that is carried out by Russian ultra-nationalists? Well, because at the end of the mission, Alan is shot and killed, his body is abandoned alongside the carnage, and responders will discover and realize that he is actually a CIA agent who is responsible for the attack while Makarov and his men escape in an ambulance. This causes Russian outrage, of course, and causes them to invade the United States, and basically from there, all hell breaks loose. So the mission is quite important to the game. It's the main reason the Russians have to invade the United States, and kick the events of the rest of the game and series off. Without this mission, none of it really makes sense. Most people obviously seem to understand that, but the mission caused some of the most controversy in history for a video game. Religious leaders denounced it, the mission has been censored or removed in certain nations, including Russia. People have been afraid that it will be and has been used to plot terrorist attacks, and plenty of angry parents were very vocal about the mission. Keep in mind that the game is rated mature and an adult is needed to buy the game. It's been linked to real life events of terrorism and mass murder and it has shown itself time and time again to be a consistent scapegoat and example for those who believe that the content in the mission was just way too much. It should be well noted that there is an option to skip the level with no consequence to the player and a warning before the mission which allows players who should feel uncomfortable to have an option to play the mission. Obviously this option also allows them to go ahead and skip the mission, but that's usually swept under the rug. Also, the player is not forced to shoot a single person throughout the mission. In fact, the other gunmen are able to do this and the player can just walk through the level and suffer no consequences. This sort of creates a moral question within players. Do you want to shoot and do the morally wrong thing, or walk through the level, miss out on playing, and do the morally right thing? It's really up for the player to decide, and honestly, I think this is a huge note for the mission. It isn't the game's fault that you did it, it's actually your fault. If the player was not forced to kill civilians, then realistically there should be no outrage, right? Well, that's just not how the world works. People believe that by seeing these sorts of things in video games, people, particularly children, are prone to reenact the scenes that they've seen. Combined with the fact that thousands of studies over the decades have given this theory a resounding no, it also shows that society is too busy blaming video games 
for the actions of the mentally insane. If we're being realistic, no sane person could play no Russian, go grab their gun, and go to the airport and let loose. And even when it happens, it isn't the video game that is the problem in that situation, but, but no Russian has always been one of the examples used by people who believe this. The moral issue is one that should be brought up more often, and the ability to skip the mission is often not emphasized when people talk about the mission. Talking about these kind of things in video games is actually quite important. It's overlooked by many, and it's something that could help us explore sensitive subjects in a way that has much more meaning to us. Our world is scary, and tragedy strikes all the time. These kinds of events, while, you know, not exactly on the scale that no Russian portrays, happen on a near daily basis. Schools, stores, malls, colleges, offices, apartments, parks, anywhere now can become a target instantly. Soft spots like these often provide targets for those who want to commit awful attacks, and with or without this No Russian mission, these atrocities are still bound to happen. They happened before the game was released, and they'll keep happening probably forever. So if they're happening regardless, why should we cower away from talking about the subject? Why should we avoid exploring this subject and talking about these issues because they offend people and scare them? That's what terrorism is intended to do, is to scare you. Why allow a video game mission to be the one thing that sends you over the edge? Talking about these topics introduces these sensitive subjects to millions of people, and by doing so, we learn to differentiate good from bad in ways that truly impact people. Even playing back through that mission now, nearly a decade later, can give you chills up and down your spine. Hearing the screams, the shots, and the chaos really does emphasize the reality of what happens. Instead of doing what terrorists want us to do and ignoring the problem out of fear, let's instead decide that missions like this are important. Not because they're memorable, but because of the message that they send. The statement that this mission alone made was much more resounding and important than most missions in any other game. Our society has headed down a path in which we turn the other cheek until something becomes offensive or, you know, against that social norm. While it's not always a bad thing, it certainly is one when a game that is making a statement is at the center of that target. Video games are not the cause of tragedy in real life. Tragedies in real life are caused by a multitude of factors. Blaming no Russian, and trying to portray video games as these violence simulators that create just mentally insane, logically crippled, just complete freaks, is a cop-out method that is used by those who are too afraid to actually tackle issues that really face our world. When we speak about these subjects and we show the horrors that the world really holds, not only do we grow to appreciate things more, but we are also much more able to fix these problems. Getting rid of things we don't like and blinding ourselves to reality won't make the problem go away. It'll just make it able to strike you when you can see it the least. Video games are truly beautiful. The art skills, the craftsmanship, the skill that it takes to create a video game, especially ones as classic as Modern Warfare 2, that's a rare set of ability. The ability to cover such a controversial subject matter and such a memorable mission is one that only Infinity Ward could do. And most importantly, the discussion that it creates are the ones that we can use to fix problems in our society. That's what's truly beautiful about video games. They're impactful. Most of us have played a game that has left a mark on our personality, sort of shaping us from our childhood coming into adults. Call of Duty has been one of those series for me. The messages are what truly matter, and this game was one that needed to be said. Blaming it for issues in the world or trying to draw comparisons between the Mission and the events that unfold in our reality are doing nothing to solve the problem. Instead, it creates more. A video game isn't what causes someone to do something so terrible. It's time to stop pretending that they have that power. Let's be honest. Most of the people who say that video games are what causes violence in real life are the same people who have never played a video game once in their life. Or if they have, they played Candy Crush on their tablet, you know? To say something so ignorant is to completely and blatantly ignore scientific research, 
plenty of studies, including psychological studies, and just pure common sense. It's time to wake up and realize that missions like No Russian are the missions that people need to see. They're the ones that people need to play. Yes, it made me uncomfortable the first time that I played it too, but it also spoke to millions of players. And to act like the impact that it had was a negative one, to act like this mission is some satanic, demonic mission that ruins the minds of players, is to really ignore reality. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, tell me what you think below, follow me on Twitter for memes, thoughts, and updates, join the Discord below to talk to me and other viewers, check my website out below, and until my next video guys, this is Optimus, signing out.